Hi Bethany, it's me. I'm at uh, Don Mills Station. And I'm on my way back to the Yellow Line. <clears throat> and then down, and then the Danforth, and then I'm done. So I'll be a few more hours. I guess you're out enjoying the day. Uh, when I called earlier, there was a message from your mom. I think it was about that computer thing. So just check it out. And uh, maybe I'll try to call you later. I love you. Bye-bye. And away we go. Here we are, standing at the bus stop, outside our house, waiting to get on. We're going to go on a big adventure today. We're going to try to hit every single subway stop in the city in one day. It's probably going to take a really long time, but I think we're up for it. It's really early in the morning. I think <laughs> Betty's a little cranky about getting up this early. But, uh, <laughs> well, as she said, this is payback for getting up early for garage sales so many times. I think it'll be cool. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. I think we're going to accomplish something today. Yeah. All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> there are 64 subway stations on the TTC. On Sundays, the trains run every five minutes. That means 10 hours. If we add two hours for breaks and lunch, we're looking at a 12-hour round trip. <laughs> Sounds like fun. And here we are at the beginning of our subway journey at Subway Crescent at Kipling Station. Here's where we begin. The lovely Bethany is going to take my picture and then I will take her picture in front of every single sign for every single station on the TTC. Are you ready to go? I'm always feeling photogenic. Beauty. Let's do it. 9 a.m. We decided that a trip of this nature had to have a set of rules. First, we had to exit the train and then the station. Once outside, we would take a picture of ourselves in front of the name of the station. Then, we would get back in and obtain a transfer with the time and date stamp to prove we were there. Then we would continue on our journey. In case you're wondering, yes, we both had Metro passes. Otherwise, this trip would have cost about $144 each. Drunken nights, lost the flops, not to mention bikini tops. Ah, uh, no. Um, do you want to go with me? Home away from home. This lake, it's all well known. Sitting around the campfire, nothing to How's it going? Are you having a good time so far? Yeah. yeah. Think it's going well? Yeah. I'm I think we're making a really good time. We're done. This is our ninth station and it's ten. Beauty. Yeah. Alright, on to done last week. I think we're making pretty good time. Yes, it is 10.30. 10.30. 12.30. 12.30. 
12 stations in an hour and a half. So I think we're on track for our original estimate of 10 hours, not including breaks and lunch. That's beauty. Pretty much anyone that rides the TTC is familiar with St. George Station. It's a transfer point between the Young University Spadina Line and the Bloor Danforth Line, or as we like to call them, the Yellow Line and the Green Line. It was here that we were about a quarter of the way through our trip and starting to wonder if maybe we hadn't bitten off more than we could chew. Sure, we were having a good time but it was starting to become evident that this trip was a lot less about sightseeing and exploring the city and a lot more about just plain endurance. So it was here that we decided this would be the point of no return where we could either continue on and finish the journey or go home and enjoy what was left of our Sunday afternoon. So you're on your way home? Yeah, I'm wimping out. Wimping out? Yeah. I'm really tired and wimping. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You made it all the way to Bay Station. And all the way to Bay Station. That's 17 stations. That's pretty good. Right. It's 25%. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. This line It's been so long It seems so much Was done So much was saying And this path That I've chose It's landed me in your heart Your arms don't know Looks like it's just me now but I know one day you'll guide me. With all of my traveling, I had forgotten that today was Gay Pride Day in Toronto and that there would soon be about a million people downtown. Most of those people would be taking public transportation. I was afraid that was really going to eat into my time, but fortunately I passed through downtown before the parade started. Sounds like everybody had a really good time. At Dundas Station now, headed south. One of the problems I'm finding here on the Young Line is that they don't seem to put the name of the station on the outside of the station. It just says Subway or whatever. And I guess you kind of figure it out, but it's a little frustrating when you're trying to take a picture, trying to find identifying signs of all the different places. So the best I can do is take pictures of the street signs and maybe just the sign that says Subway and hope that, you know, works out. Oh crap, I'm at Dundas. I forgot to get a transfer. Guess I better do that now. Frick. The Thursday before my little excursion, Bentley and I were sitting in a restaurant having lunch. I was kind of feeling depressed about my job and about life in general, and she told me that this weekend I should do something fun, something just for me. And instantly, somehow I knew. I'm going to ride to every single subway station in the city in one day, I said. I don't know where that came from, somewhere in the back of my skull, I suppose. And that was it. That's what I would be doing. There was no wavering or second guessing. It was almost a religious experience, if you can believe it. And now here I am, at Union Station. In the 50s, when the subway was still new, this was the end of the line. It ran from Union to Eglinton, and that was it. If this were the 50s, I'd be done by now. I'd be back home, 
enjoying a great sunny Sunday afternoon with my fiance. Instead of walking up and down stairs grabbing transfers. I'm on a train now. Going from Union to San Andrew. I'm kind of getting tired. But, uh, but I'm good. I know I can do it. Once I get out of the downtown core, I think I'll feel a lot better. And there'll be more signs. I'm really disappointed that Bentley's not here, but at the same time, at least now I'm not worrying about her having a shit time. So, at least I've got that going for it. about to take a picture of the museum sign and I was feeling good because I knew where that one was. I knew it would be really quick. I could get on my way and my still camera wouldn't turn on. It was malfunctioning. And I knew the batteries weren't dying because the little indicator said they were only about halfway. I was going to buy some more batteries around Yorkdale and I thought, well, geez, what's going on? I tried many, many times. It just wouldn't work. Great. So my, I do all this and have to end the museum. But I took the batteries out, moved them around, put them back in, and now they work okay again. So, so a little scare there, but away we go. Museum is the last stop downtown. I've already done St. George and Spadina, so next stop, DuPont. Uh, St. Clair West Station, and I just realized that I did not get a transfer at DuPont, so I had to think about that. I'm going to go back to DuPont and get a transfer, or continue on with that one. I've decided I'm going to go back to DuPont and get one, because if I don't, I'll feel like I never really completed this. I gotta do it right, proper. So I'm gonna go there now. Fun. Station. And I've just done some calculations and discovered that Eglinton Station is station number 32 on my route, which means there's a total of 64 stations. I'm halfway there. Oh, it's been a pretty rough day already. It's just kind of tiring, and I can't believe that all that I've gone through already I have to do the equivalent of one more time, but I'm not sorry, and uh, I think when it's all done, I'm going to feel like I've really accomplished something. So, wish me luck. Time to take a break. They got food, buy some batteries, 
And now I'm sitting in the Yorkdale bus station and I'm going to plug this camera in to give it a little more juice while I eat my lunch. So hopefully that'll do. And then it's uh, on to Wilson and Downsview. When I started out on this trip, I was concerned that TTC personnel might not look so kindly on someone wandering around the system all day with a video camera. But to my amazement, nobody even spoke to me. Well, that's not true. One person did. Instead of going all the way back downtown, I decided to ride the Shepherd bus from Downsview Station to Shepherd Young Station, still technically riding the TTC. Bethany and I used to live in this neighborhood, and we shared many great experiences here. But let's just say that, well, Neither of us were really in a great hurry to move back. Uh, now I'm at uh, Finch Station. I'm on the subway waiting to go back down to Shepherd. I've already come up from Shepherd. Okay, let me back up. I went up to Downsview. Then on the Shepherd bus, I went to Shepherd Station. Then I decided to come up and do North York Center and Finch. Now I'm going back down to Shepherd into Shepherd Line, and I'll double back, come back, and go down the Young Line and go over to the Danforth. Whew, I didn't miss Finch very much. Center Center. It would seem in my haste to get out of Finch Station early, I forgot to get a transfer. So ironically, I have to go back. Frick, I hate Finch. I hate him so much. In November 2002, the TTC unveiled the Shepherd subway line, running from Shepherd Young Station to Don Mill Station. Since then, it's had its share of critics, from those who accuse it of going from nowhere to nowhere in no time, to others who simply refer to it as the IKEA line. I don't know what this line is like on a busy rush hour during the week. All I know is that on this particular Sunday afternoon, I had plenty of space to put my feet up. Here we are at Bessarion, or however the hell you pronounce that, here on the Shepherd Line. I found a nice little spot to stop here. You know, it's great they have a subway station here because uh, you can go to the gas station, get some gas, you know. I I'd like to go home. I confess I'd like to just get on the subway and go home. Uh, I'm nodding asleep on the train and uh, as I'm standing here talking, uh, my knees are kind of buckling a little bit from over-exhaustion. You wouldn't think it would be this tiring, but it is. Uh, but I'm going to keep going. I've got a few hours left, so I'm going to stop talking and get back in there. Shepherd Line's not very busy today. Bethany, it's me. I'm at uh, Don Mills Station. 
and I'm on my way back to the Yellow Line. I'm not originally from Toronto. I grew up in a small Ontario town called Port McNichol, which is just outside of Midland. And chances are that unless you know Bettany and me personally, you've never heard of either of those two places. Like so many other people, I moved to the city when I was 19 years old to attend college. And like so many of those people, I just never left. Back home, we always used to joke that the only fun thing to do in Midland was drive to Toronto. We found Toronto to be this fantastic exotic city full of all kinds of different people and different experiences. But now that I actually live here, I find all I ever want to do is go back home. It's not because I don't like the city. On the contrary, I love it. I guess it's just that, well, as the old saying goes, in a city like this, even if you're a one in a million kind of guy, there's still four guys wandering around out there who are just like you. And we're lost in each other's thoughts and we laugh and joke about life. Well, well that's Summer Hill. Once I do Summer Hill, I'll just have, I think, Rosedale left. And then I'll be done. Not only the Shepherd line, which was not that big a feat, but also the entire Young University line, the yellow line. That's pretty good. The squeaking you hear is my shoes. Huh? Go figure. Well, the end is nearing. It's getting late. But I'm not sorry I did it, and I am going to finish. So here I go. My room has two bodies caught up in the mood You know we're gonna trust, we're gonna feel and see right through We're gonna chill a little, laugh a lot and cry a little Through all this time you're here, my friend I'm back at Young and Bluer for the second time today, making my final transfer to the Bluer Danforth line. I've only got 12 more stations to go. This is the home stretch. I'm at Peep and uh, the end is near and I think I've caught my second or third wind. I'm feeling good about uh, 10 after 7 so I think I might be done in my uh, estimated time hopefully. So we'll see. Here's hoping. stopped at Woodbine Station. I think I've only got like four or five more stations to go. So I'm feeling really good about this. It's all good. It's all real good. This is a nice little neighborhood. I'm liking the Woodbine area. Very nice. On my entire journey, 
Only one person, a man at Summer Hill Station, stopped to ask me what on earth I was doing. I told him I was trying to reach every single subway station in a day. He asked me if I was a student and if this was some kind of school project. When I told him it wasn't, he asked me why on earth I would want to do this. Just for fun, I told him, because really, what else can you say to a guy when you're holding a camera on the subway? But it got me to thinking, why on earth was I doing this? Why was I wasting a perfectly good Sunday? I think it has something to do with that urge that most men feel in the bottom of their hearts to spend great effort on something which is essentially useless. Some men climb a tall mountain. Other men chug a case of beer. I figure this ranks somewhere in between those two. to down to and from Shepherd to Don Mills. I've been to every single subway station today. Whew. Good times. Now I just have to go get a transfer and take my pictures and I'm coming home. Oh baby, life is good. Because of the lay of the land, I really had a difficult time trying to take a picture of myself in front of the Kennedy sign. But I've been at this all day and I was very tired. So, I improvised. Finally, I get to go home in a straight line, making no stops. So I went to every single station today. So what? Did I learn anything? Just one thing. Sometimes, you don't have to know where you're going to know how to get there.